Teachers, and to my heart, I touch all, we touch all of your heart, your crown, your soul, with divine love, with inner healing, with sweetness, inner beauty, and divine bliss. Let all of this manifest spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and physically in every cell of your body. So be it. Inhale the blessing. Hold your breath. Exhale. Share this with your families and your loved ones. Inhale the blessings, the love. Hold. Exhale. Share this with your friends. Inhale the blessing. Hold. Exhale, share this with the entire earth. This is an ancient art. It is a path, a shortcut to happiness. Initially, I didn't think it could go beyond healing. Within two months, we were back on track, normal. The business was booming and since then, it's been going great guns. The doctor said it was a miracle for our baby. And in one day, the blood clots were out of my system. Pranic healing was... Um, a huge lifesaver for me, literally. From the wheelchair to the crutches, and now I'm able to walk again. Anyone with two hands and a willingness to learn can be a pranic healer. Whether you choose God or Allah or, or, or any other system, the ultimate thing is that there's prosperity everywhere. Today, for many, many years, I haven't had a problem with sinusitis. I don't get headaches. I haven't fallen sick. You have to experience pranic healing to become a true believer in it. Once you experience the effect that it has on your health and on your emotions, it absolutely changes your life. Pranic healing is a very, very advanced form of energy healing therapy that has been synthesized by a great teacher named Grandmaster Twa Hok Sui into something that ordinary people can easily learn and can easily apply to their lives. Everything in pranic healing is energy. In pranic healing, we have two principles. One is a principle of self-recovery and the other is a principle of life force. If we think about it, when someone dies, the organs still exist. The heart is still there, there's still blood, the brain. What is it that stops the heart from beating? Or what is it that stops or takes the life out of the system? According to ancient Indian tradition, this energy or this literally life force that keeps the body alive is called prana. Prana, called differently in different languages, holds the same meaning across cultures. But the concept remains the same across the globe. It is the energy constant. Everything in nature has prana. That includes you, me and us all. For years, science has dedicated itself to find the secret of prana. But in spite of its latest gadgets and technologies, science has not been able to solve the greatest mysteries of the universe. Prana is a concept that every living human being can be made aware of, as we are all born with it. But prana is not a concept that is only Indian. You know, in Hebrew it's called Ruah, in, in other languages it's called Numa. So all over the world, they accept prana as chi, as ki, as a life force that keeps us alive. It's not a, just an Indian term. Prana is that life energy which keeps the body alive and healthy. Pranic healing is an ancient science and art of healing that utilizes prana to heal the whole physical body. When the person is in balance, when the person is sick, 
something happens to the body. The body, this physical body, okay, has um, an energy body already, how should we say, experimented, seen, and this is what we work on. This energy body we call the etheric body. Normally, or more commonly, it is called the aura. Now, when a person is sick, the aura is affected. The aura becomes dirty. We call that the dirty energies. So, pranic healing is based on the principle of deceased energy. So, what do we do? We clean up this deceased energy and we replace this disease energy with clean energy. So it is a principle of cleansing and energizing. Pranic healing, amongst other esoteric sciences, deals with the aura and its manipulation. It is a technique where the healer uses his or her hands, moving in a set pattern to cleanse and energize the diseased aura. Cut. In pranic healing, Master describes the energy body in three parts, the inner aura, the health aura and the outer aura. This illustration will help to explain what we're talking about. The inner aura is an energy field that interpenetrates the physical body and extends beyond it by about four to five inches. When we say interpenetrates the body, what we mean is it's like a sponge that's soaked in water. When a sponge is soaked in water, the water is inside the sponge and outside. Mm -hmm. Similarly, the inner aura is both inside the body and extends beyond the body. As can be seen in this illustration, the inner aura follows the contours of the body. And in fact, in his book, Mastua calls it the invisible physical body. And it is that. Just as we have two eyes in the physical body, there are two energy eyes in the energy body. You have an energy heart, an energy liver. And in pranic healing, this is the focus of our healing work. Just like in the physical body, we have very important organs. Within our inner aura, we have very important chakras or called energy centers. Now these energy centers are like power station that absorb energy and distribute it to the energy body around and also our physical organs. Generally accepted by other esoteric sciences are seven chakras which are connected to each of the endocrine glands. But in pranic healing, we deal with a total of 11 chakras and more. Corresponding to the blood vessels are what we call the, the nadis or the meridians. So we work on this, especially the chakras and the aura. In pranic healing, we study how to use the center of the palms to absorb what we call prana or life force and transfer it to people for healing purposes. The palm used as a tool to bless or transfer positive energy has been a symbol through ages of all divine representations. Pranic healing besides using the hands also uses an external tool called the bioplasmic disposal unit. A solution of water and salt used to neutralize negative energy. This is very, very interesting. If a person gets sick, if a human being gets sick, okay, then all the other you know, aspects of the human being can get sick. What about our finances? You know, what about our wallets? They get sick in that, you know, in another sense. So healing can be done on any aspect of, of, uh, of, of mankind. So we have healing of, uh, I would say the wallet, right? <laughs> healing of our finances, healing of a business, healing of our, um, how do you call that? Our projects, our goals, our, so every aspect of life is part and parcel of uh, Pranic Healing. The founder of Pranic Healing is Master Chua Koksui from the Philippines. A seeker and a businessman with a scientific bent of mind. 
He spent over 20 years in the research and development of prana and the technique of pranic healing. He also introduced Twin Hearts Meditation, opening the doorways to the heart and the mind, and Arhatic Yoga, showing each seeker the path. Uh, the interesting part about Master is that he himself is a scientist and being a chemical engineer, he has brought